Remember the planet Hoth from The Empire Strikes Back? It was a world covered entirely in ice with nightfall temperatures 60 degrees below zero Celsius. It had some life on the surface, including the wampa that maimed Luke's face. Let's talk about our own universe, though. For years, an open question in astronomy has been, how common are ice planets? Specifically, how common are the ones that orbit in the habitable zones of their stars? Consensus has long thought habitable planets covered with global oceans had extremely hot climates. This was assumed because high-pressure ice, a kind of ice thought to exist on the sea floor of these worlds, prevents chemical weathering. Chemical weathering is a process that allows ocean crust to store CO2 that would otherwise be in the atmosphere. With no chemical weathering happening, there would be more CO2 in the atmosphere. This would make water worlds hot and balmy. Or so we thought. A new study from the University of Tokyo calls this assumption into question. They suggest planetary crust is hot enough to melt high-pressure ice in some areas. No high-pressure ice and chemical weathering would occur, pulling CO2 from the air. Much of this melting would probably occur at mid-ocean ridges, underwater mountain ranges caused by plate tectonics. At these areas, an exposed seafloor would allow CO2 to be stored in the crust. Here, something interesting happens, according to the study. The presence of melting ice fixes the seafloor temperature in a range where CO2 storage doesn't stop. Worlds with big enough oceans can fall into a runaway cooling climate scenario. In contrast to the previous theoretical prediction, we show that climates of terrestrial planets with massive oceans lapse into extremely cold ones, or snowball states, with CO2-poor atmospheres. For this to happen, a water world would need at least 10 times the ocean mass as Earth. This would create the conditions necessary for continual chemical weathering that doesn't stop pulling CO2 from the air. A snowball world with frozen oceans and perpetual winter would be formed, despite it being in its star's habitable zone. The scientists estimate these could be fairly common in the universe. You may be asking, why doesn't this occur on Earth? Well here, high pressure ice doesn't form under the ocean. Chemical weathering occurs on continental land and the level of weathering depends on the temperature. This has served as one built-in climate stabilization mechanism in the past. The findings of this study matter because it tells us ice worlds are probably much more common than originally thought, and some could have enough internal heat to support life under the surface. 